Hello everyone, welcome to Shining 3D's Dental Salon. I'm Clara and I'm going to talk about how to use intraoral scanner for acidic case scanning today. I will share some intraoral scanning skills for different acidic cases in the following talk. Firstly, how to obtain data with intraoral scanner in crown lengthening surgery. What is crown lengthening surgery? That is, under the basic principle of periodontal biological widths, to expand the exposure range of healthy tooth tissue and to remove part of the alveolar bone and gingiva by surgery, so as to increase the exposure of the teeth, thereby improve the acidics and of the tooth shape or restore them. What is the process of crown lengthening surgery? Normally, pre-operation is needed, a mock-up and a plan of crown lengthening treatment. So, how to obtain data for crown lengthening? Data acquisition skills required for crown lengthening, you can not only scan the teeth, you also need to have a full view of the patient's gingiva to give the dentist a better understanding how to the best crown lengthening could be. By doing this, you will also need a mouth jack. How to scan with intraoral scanner for unilateral restoration? First, how to capture data when encountering this patient? The proper method would be having a symmetric scanning and mark this as a reference significance. How to scan with intraoral scanner for mock-up? What is a mock-up? In dental acidic restoration, mock-up is an effective method to display the dental acidic design and will help with the dentist-patient communication. Tooth color materials, such as raisins, are used to cover the surface of the teeth to be restored to directly form the shape and appearance of the restoration teeth. Now we are going to compare menu procedure and digital mock-up procedure. The menu procedure would be taking impression, menu waxing, mock-up for shape confirming, tooth preparation, a second menu waxing, and due to completion. Are the model based on which of the two waxings are done the same? No, the first one is pre-operation plaster model and the second one is plaster model of prepared tooth. Are the shape of the two waxing the same? Even there is auxiliary surgical guide, the two waxing shapes are still be different. It highly depends on the technique of the technicians, also it takes a long time. The digital process would need intraoral data, face scan data. These are the pictures acquiring. Then would be up to diagnosis model design and model printing. Digital mockup for shape confirming, tooth preparation and the restoration design to completion. Are the model based on which the two designs are done the same? No, the first one is pre-operation intraoral data. The second one is prepared tooth data. Are the shapes of the two vaccines the same? The shape design can be copied exactly the same to the other. How to obtain the data if I want to copy the mock-up? Obtain mock-up data with pre-operation procedure. Firstly, create an order, choose yes for pre-operation. Then scan the mock-up or the model data and scan the working jaw. Use HD Refine to keep the data you want to be high details. Scan the opposite jaw and bite. How to scan with intraoral data for final restoration? You will need a standard process of teeth preparation for acidic restoration and need accurate data or model. How to obtain a scan data for high accuracy and details? The tools you needed would be a disposable dental instrument box, a dental pump, mouse jack, dental high-speed ear turbine handpiece, gingival retraction cord, and a clean scanning tip. If possible, you will also need a mouth suction to extract the saliva. Thank you for hearing everyone.